Hey, Chad the Nature Dad here, and... Hello! We took a ride down to Lake Michigan today to check out some rocks. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go find some rocks right along the beach. Alright, so we went and grabbed a couple rocks that we found around the beach. There's a lot of cool ones to find. You can find any of them right there in your backyard. And we put them here in a nice little pile, separating them into three different kinds. So the first kind we're going to talk about, these are some of our igneous rocks. Igneous rocks, they uh, happen from lava that cools in the the faster it cools, the smaller crystals you get, like this one, it's got some real small crystals. And the slower it cools, you get some large crystals, like this one. And then a lot of times with igneous rocks, you can also find ones that have a whole bunch of these air pockets that are in them. So those are those igneous rocks. That hard lava, that lava hardening up. And our second one here, we've got sedimentary rocks. These are from all different pieces of sediment, sand rocks, things like that, that form layers and they usually form in water where sediments can come and um, pile on top of each other and create those layers. And then over here we've got the metamorphic rocks. These are rocks that are changed from heat and pressure. Usually look like somebody took a couple different colors of Play-Doh and smushed them together so they can look like that. Or they can look like this mambo jumbo here. It's got a couple different layers, but the layers that you see are not uniform like a sedimentary rock. So they're kind of smushed a little different. And then we've got some other cool things that you can find. You can find some a sea glass, right Kendall? Yep. Or you can find cool fossils over there. Kendall found these fossil rocks while she was exploring. That's because, believe it or not, Wisconsin used to be covered in a shallow sea called the Silurian Sea. So get on out there and see if you can find some rocks in your neighborhood. Uh, or you can come on down to a local beach. Just make sure to keep your space. Hey friends, thanks for joining us for another Chat the Nature Dad here at Lake Michigan. And join us next time as we discover more nature in our neighborhoods. Want to say anything to everybody out there? Remember, water is cold! Ah, cold! Yes, remember, if you do go down to Lake Michigan, make sure you go down with some parents or an adult that's with you and definitely this time of the year the water is a very cold. How about just a goodbye? Bye bye!